special of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia. What's up guys and welcome to the Dark World Archetype. So believe it or not, it mostly consists of dark theme type monsters. They were introduced in Elemental Energy with further support in Strike of Neos and Gates of the Underworld structure deck, as well as Primal Origin. They are based around effects that activate when they are discarded from the hand to the graveyard by a card effect. This deck was actually seen once in the anime, as Bron, Mad King of Dark World, used this archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. As well, fun fact, I actually ran this deck in real life for a good while as well, and I really enjoyed it. Sometimes I'd overplay where you just get a bit too like... Oh, I keep drawing, I keep drawing, then you end up with like six cards left in your deck because, you know, you're just enjoying yourself too much. That's the only problem with the deck, I guess. Plus, Macrocosmos is a bitch against this deck. So first up, Beige, Vanguard of Dark World. Now, Beige is the Dark World colour pun on the colour Beige. So, uh, yeah, pretty obvious, really. Most of these are going to be quite obvious. Next up, Brow, Huntsman of Dark World. Brow's colour pun is the fact that it is named after Brown and the word bow, his weapon. This is a stretch, but Brown is also the colour of the back of cards in reference to this card allowing you to draw. Fact or theory? This card appears in the artwork of the Forces of Darkness, and Brow's right hand appears completely different than the rest of his body, perhaps not originally belonging to him. Like most Dark World monsters, Brow appears partly mechanical, specifically his chest and hands. Bron, Mad King of Dark World. So Bron is the Dark World colour pun for bronze. This card appears in the artwork of Gate of the Dark World, and while the flavour text of Zer Knight of the Dark World hints that the Dark World monsters are not intended to be evil, Bron may be the exception due to his psychotic nature as a mad king. King. This is also supported by his role in the anime. Also, despite the anime's portrayal of him as the single ruler of the Dark World, Master Guide 2 indicates Bron as subordinate to Gold and Silver, who in turn report to Rainbow, who himself probably serves under Graffa and Latinum, if we're going by their Japanese titles. This is also supported by the colours of the monster's names, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Rainbow is all the colours, I guess, so that puts him a little bit above. And then, obviously, you've got Graffa at the top, which is black and grey. Eh, look at it like that. Bronze hands appear to be skeletal at first, but a close inspection seem more mechanical with, like, little pieces of flesh. Grim. Ceruli, Guru of the Dark World. As with the other Dark World monsters, this monster's name is based on a colour. In this case, Cerulean a bright shade of blue. This is also the first anime exclusive card to be retroactively made into a real card for a structure deck. And this monster appears in the artwork of Infection Medium. Kobol, Excavator of the Dark World. So this card's name comes from the element Cobalt, which its compounds often produced distinctive deep blue colours. This card is the only Dark World monster alongside Scar, Scout of the Dark World, to not have at least one effect involving discarding cards. This excludes Colourless Chaos King of Dark World, whose anime effect was never shown. And this card is currently the only Dark World monster to be shown in the anime that is not actually a real card. Gold, Woo Lord of Dark World. This card and Silver, Warlord of the Dark World, are based on the two antagonists featured in the Japanese television series Monkey Magic, called Gold Horn and Silver Horn, who were kings of the underworld. Also, their names might be based on two important pieces in the Japanese chess game, Shogi, the Gold and Silver Generals. This card appears in the artwork of Dark World Lightning and Dark Smog. Gold is titled as an emperor due to the word Wu Lord being in the title. This monster's name and weapon are similar to the Golden Axe from some of Konami's Castlevania games. This card's effect parallels that of Silver, Warlord of the Dark World, except instead of returning two cards from the opponent's hand to the bottom of their decks, this card's effect destroys an equal number of cards they control. 
Grant, tactician of Dark World. The name Grant is a colour pun meaning green. It could also refer to the colour borders of spell cards, which this card can destroy. Dark World Grimoire seems to be depicted in this card, but no, this book has no legs, which Dark World Grimoire has. Kaki, Gorilla of Dark World. As with all Dark World monsters, Kaki's name is a pun on the colour Kaki. It could also refer to the colour of some monster cards. For example, normal monsters, which this card has the ability to destroy. Also, Gorilla is a warfare style that consists of small groups that surround and attack larger, less mobile armies. This monster also appears in the artworks of Thousand Buster, Darkness Half, and Dark Corridor. Next up, Latinum. Exarch of Dark World. So this card is the first TCG exclusive Dark World monster. This card is named after the precious metal Platinum. And it's also possible that this card is level 6 because Platinum is often represented as being of higher importance than gold or silver. Gold and silver being level 5. And this card has the highest defense of all Dark World monsters. Lucent, Neverlord of Dark World. So this monster's name is a pun on the word translucent. Rainbow, Overlord of Dark World. Now, some people pronounce this name as Rainbow, but the correct pronunciation of Rainbow is Rainbow, which matches the Dark World name puns on colour, as Rainbow is just Rainbow, obviously. <laughs> this monster appears in the artwork of Dark World Dealings and Common Sacrifice. And this card is the only Dark World monster whose effect only activates when discarded by an opponent opponent's card effect. And this card is mistakenly called a fusion monster in the English dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX by Bron, Mad King of Dark World. Renge, Gatekeeper of Dark World. His text reads, his renowned athletic physique has made him famous with the populace of Dark World. They call him Iron Wall Renge because no one can break through his incredible defenses. This is one of the two Dark World monsters which is a normal monster, the other one being Zer, Knight of Dark World. Renge is named after the colour orange, which matches the other Dark World colour puns. Renge's chest and stomach appear mechanical, despite this card being a fiend-type monster. Scar, Scout of Dark World. So, Scar is the Dark World colour pun meaning Scarlet. This card appears in the artwork of The Forces of Darkness, Thousand Buster, and One for One. Silver, Warlord of Dark World. Silver is the Dark World colour pun meaning Silver. Pretty obvious. In alchemy and economics, silver is considered valuable, though inferior to gold. It is interesting to note that silver has similar stats to gold and a similar, though arguably slightly inferior, effect. Their titles Wu Lord and Warlord also sound similar. To further its hierarchy, silver is only a common in the gold series, while the coincidentally named gold is a gold ultra rare. Whoa! The head of this monster consists of two skull faces. The first can be viewed normal and the second on its forehead, rotated by 180 degrees and using the same eyes. In contrast to Gold Wu Lord of the Dark World, whose head has three skull faces, one big and two smaller faces rotated by 180 degrees on the sides. The same applied to the orbs on the chest on both monsters. Silver has two and gold has three. And this monster appears in the artwork of Dark Scheme and Moku Satsu. Snow and Light of Dark World. This card is the first female Dark World monster, and this card's name comes from Snow White, a term often used to describe something that is pure white in colour. Zer, Knight of Dark World. This card's text reads, The name of the illustrious knight is known by all residents of Dark World. He never oppresses the commoners. So, this monster appears in the artwork of Dark Deal. Now, the card's flavour text hints that this monster, and even all Dark World monsters in general, may not entirely be all evil, if at all, and are only stereotyped by other creatures due to their appearance and attribute. In, of course, the anime, however, he and other Dark World monsters are portrayed as evil. At the very least, the flavour text hints that they have enough lawfulness and order to not inflict unproductive acts of cruelty. And Zua is the Dark World colour pun on the bluish shade Azur. Shorten by dropping the letter A. Next up, the big guy, Graffa. 
Dragon Lord of Dark Worlds. So this card's name is based on Graphite, which is a shade of grey. This card has the highest attack of all Dark World monsters. And though its name suggests that it's a dragon type, the card is actually a fiend type monster. And this monster appears in the artwork of Dimension Slice. Colorless Chaos King of Dark World. So this is the first and only Dark World fusion monster, as well as the first and only Dark World monster that has an effect not shown. And this card inherently cannot be discarded because it cannot be in a player's hand. It is one of the three Dark World cards that hasn't been released in a TCG set. The others are Cobal and the Dark Corridor. And this is one of the two fusion monsters that requires super polymerization for its summoning. The other is, of course, Super Fusion God. A couple of the Dark World supports are Dark World Dealings, Dark World Grimoire, Dark World Lightning, The Gates of the Dark World, Gateway to Dark World, and some other good cards to use if you want to use a Dark World deck that I would recommend. Drag Down into the Grave, fantastic card. Tour Guide from the Underworld, can't go wrong. Dark Smog, Mind Crush and Skill Drain since all your effects activate in the hand. And with that guys, that is another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia done. What did you think of this little Halloween-y special? I hope you enjoyed it, but uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of the Dark World cards? Let me know hello and thanks a lot for watching.